I am an advocate, a very strong advocate, of following very strictly the rule of law, the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution was written very precisely to restrain the power and force of government and to protect the liberties of each and every one of us. I think 9-11, quite frankly, could have been prevented if we had had a lot more respect for the Second Amendment. Matter of fact, if you look at every single problem we're facing today, it's because of the lack of respect for the rule of law and the Constitution. The answers can be found in the return to the rule of law and a strict interpretation of the Constitution. What we need is a restatement to make sure that homeschoolers and private schools are never attacked by our government. So where are we today? How many years ago has it been since the Republican Party stood for getting rid of the Department of Education and getting rid of the Department of Energy? Where are we on that? We have allowed our nation to be overtaxed and overregulated and overrun by bureaucrats. The founders would be ashamed of us for what we're putting up with. We have a very unfair tax system. We need a fair tax system. That means getting rid of the IRS and repealing the 16th Amendment. A strong national defense means that we have an understanding of national sovereignty. That is slipping away from us today. The neoconservatives have taken over for the traditional conservatives, and they do not have the respect for our national borders that they should. We do not any longer have national sovereignty. We have preferred too much to the United Nations, the IMF, the World Bank, and the WTO, the, uh, the NAFTA, and the Catholic Agreements, and they should not be part of our system. We have financed the warfare state and the welfare state by overtaxing, overborrowing, and then we resort to printing money which is destroying our monetary system. The bubbles are created by the Federal Reserve System and to tell you the truth, the Constitution doesn't provide for a central national bank, doesn't even provide for a Federal Reserve system. Welfare does not help our working conditions in this country. Disincent disincentives for individuals not to work. At the same time, illegals come here, and if you're in a local community or a state, you're mandated by the federal government to provide free education and free medical care, and that's wrong.